Please welcome two nominees tonight from The Last of Us, Nick Offerman and Murray Bartlett. Welcome to the Creative Arts Emmy Awards. Murray and I are pleased as punch to join you here tonight as we celebrate the mad geniuses who made this year's best television, both behind the cameras and a few of the in front of the camera types. We're so proud to be kicking off the 75th anniversary of the Emmys, which is the only anniversary anyone should be celebrating on January 6th, right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> 75 years. 75 years. So it's a true example of longevity in Hollywood. If the Emmys were an actor, it would be dating 30 or even 40 year old women on screen. That's right. And if it were an actress, it would be playing the crazy old lady in a horror movie. <laughs> so much has changed in the world since the very first Emmys way back in 1949. Back then, you had to watch TV on a TV. And that's the only difference I can really think of. That's Probably right. others. Yeah. I think they invented Pop-Tarts since then. Good one, uh, yes. Throughout the night, we will be seeing moments from past creative arts ceremonies showing the trailblazers who came before us and shaped our field. Because we know that the creative arts Emmys are the only Emmys that really matter. <laughs> that's right. This night is not for those showboating narcissist actors who need to appear in every episode of a series. Oh, God. Who cares about those jerks? Yeah, damn straight, Nick. Tonight's not for the pompous directors always telling you what to do, or the writers with their stupid glasses. I hate those oh. people. So stupid. And it's definitely not for the producers, debutantes. No, the Creative Arts Emmys are for the people who do just that. The creative hard work to make the shows that entertain millions of people around the world. And Nick and I aren't just here tonight as presenters. We're also both nominated as guest actors for The Last of Us. Being a guest actor is like crashing on someone else's show's couch for a couple of weeks, sometimes literally. I ate a sandwich from the fridge that had Pedro written on it. I would have. Yeah, it was delicious. But more than anything, we are here as fans of all of your work from this past year. The incredible casting team from The Bear is nominated tonight. I fully intend to track you down and slip you a headshot later. Uh, ever since The Last of Us, everybody tells me that I am an ideal bear. So. Yeah, I, I don't think that... Um, you know what? Never mind. This is also the night that we honor all the incredible stunt coordinators and performers out there. That's right. Man, it was... It was crazy how much they made me practice uh, for our sex scene in The Last of Us. But we didn't have a stunt coordinator for that. Um, then who was that guy? <laughs> Not to mention the best in the biz from sound, music, visual effects, HMU, stunts, and many, many more, like a lot more. Yeah, we have got a ton of categories to get through tonight, so let's get this thing started. Right off the bat, here are the nominees for Outstanding Guest Actor in a Comedy Series. John Bernthal as Michael Bersato, the bear, Braccioli. This curious fellow, he somehow gets his hands on what was it? It was like a, it was like a series pamphlet behind the bar. Luke Kirby as Lenny Bruce, the marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Four minutes. Little do I know that 11 a.m. the next morning, before the grand jury somewhere, there's another guy doing my act who's introduced as Lenny Bruce in substance. 
Nathan Lane as Teddy Demos. Only murders in the building. Here's looking at you. Right now, the thought of wringing your neck really stimulates my root chakra. But it's probably not worth losing three of my mindfulness badges. Pedro Pascal, Saturday Night Live. Host, Pedro Pascal. People are all like us. People are always gonna do the dog. <laughs> and be the bay. And that's the tooth. Oliver Platt as Prudence James, Jimmy, Cicero, Unc, Kalinowski. The bear, dogs. But your dad, he goes flying through the windshield, but he never lands. He keeps on flying. Sam Richardson as Edwin Akufo, Ted Lasso, International Break. But I was happy to hear that the Nigerian government was pleased to accept a free $20 million check from me to keep you off the team. And the Emmy goes to Sam Richardson, Ted Lasso. I didn't, yeah, I really didn't think I was gonna win this, you know? So I didn't even like really write anything down, didn't wanna like have a, a speech like fall in my pocket and it's like somebody be like, oh, I wanna thank the Academy, I wanna thank you, you know? <laughs> but I'd like to thank Apple and I'd like to thank the Academy. Uh, I wanna thank Jason Sudeikis, uh, Brendan Hunt and Joe Kelly for making the show uh, and putting me in it. Uh, the, the cast, Tohib, uh, uh, Hannah, everybody, uh, I want to thank my, my team, Itai Rice, John Sachs, Mike Lauerback, uh, you know, my mom, my dad. <laughs> my mom is who made me Ghanaian, so that was very helpful uh, in this. And I want to, you know, I want to thank uh, my buddy Tim Robinson always, uh, my girlfriend Nicole, uh, and the Detroit Lions, thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much. I mean, I, I, uh, this is, uh, I didn't believe that this was going to happen, so I was really lackadaisical about preparing for a speech. Uh, but I do want to thank, you know, everybody uh, at Ted Lasso. I want to thank everybody at Apple. I want to thank the Academy especially. I want to thank my family, my parents, uh, everybody in the country of Ghana, everybody in the city of Detroit, uh, and everybody who I've came up through comedy with, you know, with the Second City and then Detroit Improv and, and, and Chicago Improv. I, I couldn't be here without the ladder that everybody built for me, so thank you.